right. I'll put my on. Hi guys, Coach Jake White. The floor is open. Jake, uh, Jake so, uh, much, so much for the Stormers bomb squad. Yeah, I spoke. I mean, I was surprised. I think, uh, as I said to one of the boys now, you know, one of the Stormers boys, I was surprised because I thought with all those players on the bench, they would have probably got them on a bit earlier. You know, I'm not sure what the what the thinking was. Um, in fact, I was holding back with my substitutions because I thought as soon as they do theirs, I'll I'll, I'll put mine on. So, you know, it was a strange thing in terms of having six guys, six forwards on the bench and not using them. Jake, uh, presumably things were going so well though that you didn't really need to use subs. Um, how how close how close to your perfect game was that? I mean, uh, John Dobson was just saying that you know they didn't have a single scrum feed until you know right before the game was uh, called off, which shows how error free you guys were. Yeah, I think the first scrum was in the twenty fourth minute, which again shows that we uh, we managed to hold on to the ball. Um, I think, Ken, to be fair, the first 40 minutes is probably, you know, I mean, I'd say probably the best we've played in a long time, considering the opposition we've played against. Um, you know, and I think the, the, the thing I enjoyed the most is the continuity and the, and the, the sort of uh, play between backs and forwards. I mean, it wasn't a case of just playing with our forwards, although I must say our forwards were outstanding. I think the way they scrummed and the way they mauled, definitely set up a platform for the backs to play. But what I really enjoyed was the interplay between the backs and the forwards and you know, some of the touches and some of the offloading and you know, all, the, all the sort of interplay was, was very pleasing. Hi, uh, Jake, uh, Adnan, yeah. Um, would you say that uh, the Stormers were saved by the Lightning? Otherwise, the score would have been much higher. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, to be fair, they were, they were on our trial line there. So, you know, who knows, maybe... You know, we had defended really well. We didn't want to let them in. Um, but I would say, you know, that, uh, you know, we had a couple of chances. I, I, I recall a couple of chances we went through. We didn't finish. I remember one time when Cornwall went through and he had Kirby Orency on the outside of him. You know, it's funny when you coach, you can sort of be critical about those little things and you know you could maybe have scored two or three more tries. But, you know, as long as we, we learn from that and we get better, you know, we make it. There's a long season we're going to play, hopefully, till the 23rd of January. If that's the kind of improvement we've had in a small space of time, I'm looking forward to seeing where we can be in the next two months. And just a word uh, on the performance of Morningstein. Um, he's, I mean, he's at, I think he's 35 years old. And uh, he, he put on a great show. Um, I think he had a hand in three tries, if I'm correct. Yeah. No, look, I, I must say, I watched him play when he was at Stade Francais when I was coaching at Montpellier. And... Uh, yeah, I mean, he was still winning games there. He was still, you know, winning Man of the Match awards. He was, uh, I think when he was there, Stade Francais won the league. I mean, he was one of the most important players for them as well. So, yeah, I think, you know, the thing that I've, as I said, I've enjoyed is Jacques is an older guy. Dwayne's an older guy. You know, uh, Mornay's an older guy. But the kind of role model and the kind of performances they're giving the juniors is making it so much more... Um, easy for, for the coaching staff to get those juniors to play like that because when they play like that, it rubs off on all the junior players. Coach, but you're talking Thanks. about the continuity between the forwards and the, the back line. Can I ask you, what are you guys feeding Ivan van Sale nowadays? Ivan van Sale, well, all we do is we let him uh, train with uh, Fari Dupria once a week and you can see the, the sort of uh, impact that Fari Dupria is helping the halfbacks, and we didn't get to see Ambrose today, but I mean, I can tell you that the little things and the detail that uh, that Fred Dupree has, you know, it's anything. It's like confidence. You know, when you when you get a guy like him coming in and helping him with their technical stuff and the understanding about the game, and you know, and just and just getting a feel for what their roles are. You know, you can never underestimate what 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 sort of knowledge and intellectual property they're getting from a guy like Fred Dupree. Jake, it's been. It's been the third week that um, the Storm has performed this way, um, where it looks like they didn't have any plan um, coming onto the field. Um, were you able to get anything on them in the, the videos of the three games they played, or did you know that you have to put them under pressure to throw them totally off them from minute, minute one? You know, Leighton, you know, as I said before, and it's not being clever after the game, they used their forward pack to get themselves out of trouble against the Pumas. So they would scrum and scrum penalty and then get out of their half. 
Um, so the, the plan was just to, you know, nullify that option and then get them to play out of their half, you know. And because they probably got away with it in the last couple of weeks by, by having double shoves or by, by using their scrum and their set piece to get out of their half, um, you know, they had, to re they had to rethink and they had to adapt the way they were playing. And, uh, you know, again, as I said, it's, it's easy in hindsight, but I will say the thing I'm enjoying the most about this Bulls team is their ability to adapt, you know, the ability... Um, for them to understand, you know, that if things, uh, team, you know, if plan A doesn't work, we've got to be good enough to find another plan. And I think the way we changed uh, the line out today with the mall and, and playing off the top, you know, we got, got some really good rewards. So, yeah, as I said, I'm, I'm really happy with the way the coaching staff and the players are, are putting this team together later. Jake, um, uh, we spoke about the line now and, uh, so, Jake, you mentioned the lineup uh, now, and I think it was this week you said uh, Marco from Stardom has probably been the most consistent player in the season so far. But um, a guy like Ruan, Ruan Nokia must also be um, pushing hard uh, another great game today. And, and have you been pleased with just how consistent he's been as well? Yeah, I can. You know, I mean, he's 22 years old, you know, and I think, uh, you know, he's now coming, you know, he's coming in leaps and bounds, you know, not, not quite where we want him to be. I mean, let's be fair, we produce some unbelievable locks in this province. Louis Mumans and Adolf Melanz and Bakis and Victor and Donny Rousseau. And, you know, so, I mean, he, he understands that's one area in South Africa that we need to improve. I mean, the lock, we've got so many locks playing overseas. There's an opportunity for him if he does well yet to grow and, and hopefully stake a claim for, for national honor. So, yeah, I'm, I'm also, again, I mean, the, the guy plays 80, 80, 80, he's 22 years old. You know, I've no doubt that when he plays with guys like Dwayne and Mornay and Jock and Trevor, you know, he's growing and growing and, and that's what makes it so pleasing for us. Jake, uh, we spoke about Mornay Stein's performance earlier, but also Stedman Hans was the man of the match. And just the time he has on the ball, um, you know, is it something that's being coached or is it just his natural skill and him and Kirtley Aarons are combining brilliantly? Yeah, thanks, Ashok. I think, to be fair, that's the one thing I've also enjoyed is that combination growing and growing and growing. You know, I think uh, they both could play wing. I think one thing I've enjoyed is moving them into the midfield where they can get their hands on the ball. Um, the other thing, Ashok, that I've, you know, you're right. I mean, Stedman looks, you know. But let's not forget, he's played against Lukanya Am, who we rate as the best uh, center, you know, outside center in South Africa and probably in the world. So... You know, he's had, he's had in the space of a month, he's played against Lukanya twice. So I think that there's no doubt that when he comes off the field having played against Lukanya, he takes that confidence into the next game. And the next game. So, yeah, it's, uh, as I said, it's, uh, it's wonderful to see those two guys combining like they do because it, obviously it creates, creates something for us outside. Um, and with our forward pack as it is now, they're obviously difficult for defenders to, to know where we're going to go. So ek net ter ter opsomming jammer om dit te net doen. Ek net vra ter opsomming om om check waar dink jy waar julle vandag die wedstryd gewen teen die stormerspan? Het was 'n redelike dominerende vertoning gewees. Ja, first of all ek dink ek meen dat die game het nooit verander nie. Ek dink dit werk maar die pak forwards wen nie game. Dit is dit. Hulle sê die die pak forwards is maar die persone wat besluit of jy die game wen en die backs is die as die persone wat besluit hoe ver jy in die game wen. En ek dink precies wat gebeur vandag as dit ons forwards was uitsteken gewees die wat ons lang staan, ons scrums was baie goed gewees, ek, soos ek sê, ek dink die, die, die feit dat ons volgens gecarry het en, en geoffload het en, en met die backs gespeel het en een platform uh, geskep het vir die backs om te speel. En dis hoekom een centrum van, van Stedman Gans sy gehaald, ek kan nie man of the match wees. Dis net om wat ons volgens so goed gedoen het. Jake, um, ek weet dis early days uh, en uh, maar ons is eindelijk al half wat uh, dier hierdie kompetitie. Um, as jy nou so moet terugkyk, um, uh, hoe, hoe nabij is jou span aan die span wat jy uh, ge, uh, uh, um, gehoop het jy krij, uh, wat, wat, wat ontwikkel het tot op hierdie stadium en um, uh, uh, wat sy werk leen nog voor as jy nou vir jouself kritisch moet kyk met hierdie span wat nou vanavond so ver, vertoon het? Ja, uh, ek dink die span is waar ons wil wees. Want ons is eerlijk, ons is nou nie lang tyd saam gewees nie. En as jy maar dink, as ons so kan speel in een maand of vijf weke saam, kan dit net goed lyk vir die toekomst. Um, ja, en ek dink, jy weet, vir my is dit nou seker te maak ons, ons, 
ons voorbereiding is elke week die selle. Ons, uh, ons detail moet altijd scherp wees. Um, soos ek sê, ons moet niet nou dink ons enig iets gewen nie, ons moet niks gewen nie. Jy weet, ons is nou vier games in die toernooi in, maar lang twee maanden wat nog le. Um, ja, en ek dink, jy weet, soos ek sê, ek dink ek is baie opgewonnen oor die feit dat hulle is een goeie groep spelers, baie goeie groep uh, uh, ordentelike persoene ook, en ek dink, jy weet, ek sien uit om hulle te groei, ek dink, ons uitdaging gaan wees om, om teen ander spanne te speel, jy weet, ek, vla, net iemand vraag vir my, saterdag speel ons teen die Lews weg, jy weet, hulle is die naaste aan hoe die Cheetahs gespeel het, so ons ga ek krijg geleentheid om te sien of ons teen een span wat soos die Cheetahs en die Lews speel, om seker te maak, ons kan nog steeds, uh, jy weet, goeie rugby speel, so, Ja, die uitdaging is maar daar, want hy ons is nog steeds 2-3 maanden saam, voordat ons by die einde van die karriebeker gaan saam wees, en ek, ek seker, jy het vandag gekyk hoe like die Sharks, hulle was baie beter vandag gewees, so, hoe meer hy spanne by mekaar is, hoe meer hulle saam speel, hoe, 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 weet, hoe moeiliker gaan het wees vir ons om, om te verbeter, maar, jy weet, ek is, ek is vol vertrouwe dat, soos ons nou werk en soos ons nou oefen, is dinge maar vir goeie paikie. Check out for the question in the past today. But have you given given us as the media an update on, on, on Geo Aplon's operation and, and is he still part of the setup? So what's the plan going forward for him? Yeah, first of all, I mean he got operated in yesterday. Um yeah, I mean at this point in time it's an ACL, you know, so I can't see him being back for a while. But you know, he's a very positive guy. He told me he read an article the other day where some athlete came back within seventy seven days. So, you know, who knows? But you know, he's still very supportive, still sends messages, send a great message this morning from his hospital bed, um, you know, wishing the guys well and and asking them to to put something in extra. So, yeah, you know, as I said, it's not going to be a around for the, I suppose, the next two, three, four months, but hopefully we'll get him towards the middle of next year. Thank you, man. You mentioned the name of um, Danny Rousseau earlier. Yes. Um, we know what he meant to the team in terms of of death, um, uh, the variety of, you, you brought to the team. Do you think you found found a, a new Daniel Rousseau in Elric Lowe? I know the Lions wanted to, to sign him as a lock, so do you think you find, maybe find, found a new Daniel Rousseau there? Yeah, of course, I can for you say he's a, a really good player. I mean, I get now, I get Peter Steff afgericht by the Sharks. I mean, you've all seen how he has grown in a klein, klein, in a short time. Um, I get John Smith afgericht. Andre Venter was a part of the Springboks fan with Nick Mellet. I mean, hy het, Elrich, I mean, hy is nog jong en hy verstaan en hy gaan nog steeds leer, maar as ek gesien het hoe André Venter gespeel het, of Joan Smith, of Pieter Stef Dutoy, is hy in die selle klas. Jy weet, hy moet nou net, jy weet, net rustig wees en, en, en sy ervaring net bykie groei, maar ja, soos jy sê, Dani Rousseau het achtste man in die Wereldbeker Final gespeel, maar die man wat 21 jaar oud is en hy, jy weet, hy, 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 hy het alles om, het, om groot rugby te speel en ek is seker, Jy weet dat hy een dag gespringboek gaan wees, en hy gaan nie net gespringboek wees, nie, hy gaan een goeie gespringboek wees. Okay, okay. Can you just confirm with the game being called off early, you guys do still get the bonus points, hey? You've still got five points, brother. So, Ken, how it will be basically, the, as I said, I'm telling people downstairs, I heard before the game that if, it, if the game goes to 40 minutes, then, um, then the result stays. So I briefed the players before the game and said, look, it's very important that we're leading. That's why we took a couple of those early penalties and kicked them over because I just thought what we didn't want to do is be behind on the scoreboard at half time. Um, again, part of the planning, part of the preparation, you know, just giving players the confidence that they understand we couldn't afford to, you know, we needed to play in the half and get points and, you know, they did more than that. So, you know, we, we realized after last week, we're probably a bit fortunate in that we played in the rain and a lot of people spoke about what was the rule if the game was called off. So, you're 100% spot on. You know, as it stands now, we get five points and, uh, you know, the game is called, finished at 39 points to six, which is obviously fantastic for us. Hi, thank you for the question, James. Have a lovely evening. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thanks, Jake. Well Thanks, Jake. Thank you, thank you.